Hey guys, Ben here from Keyword Chef. And in this video, I'll be discussing what keyword clustering is and how to do it. So let's get started. So what is keyword clustering? Keyword clustering is basically grouping together similar keywords so that they can be included in the same article. Oftentimes you might have hundreds or even thousands of keywords, and it can be kind of confusing to figure out which ones should be included in the same article or what keywords should have new articles. So this is important to help prevent what's called keyword cannibalization. And what keyword cannibalization is, is basically if you write two articles about two different keywords, but those keywords are very similar, Google might only rank one of those articles. And while this is not a Google penalty, it will be a wasted effort. So you want to prevent that. So the old way of keyword clustering, um, you would basically look at the different words in the keyword itself and group keywords that way. The new way of keyword clustering, however, is by looking at the search engine result pages, also known as a SERP, and comparing the links. And I'll show you how that's done. So this is how keyword clustering works. Um, the step one is to gather the SERP for every keyword. And you want to compare the links inside the SERPs against each other. And if two SERPs share three or more similar links, they can be considered similar. So we can see this here, um, a keyword A SERP and a keyword B SERP. These are two different keywords. And we can see they have three matching links so they are considered clustered. So that's an easy way to visualize it. Now, as you could probably imagine doing this work manually for even just a few keywords is very tedious. So Keyword Chef has a tool to make this super easy. Um, if you don't have an account already, go to keywordchef.com, create an account, and to use the clustering feature, you will need to buy some paid credits. So now we'll go on to the demo. We are now inside the Keyword Chef application. So there's two ways to create a new report. You can either use the search bar or you can upload keywords. So for this example, I'm going to be uploading keywords that I already want to cluster. So I'll paste my keywords in here about avocados. I'll call this avocado report and click import. So I have all my keywords and the volume data here. And to get all the SERP data for all the keywords, I'll click get all SERPs. And this will take about a minute, uh, more or less, depending on how large your report is. So we'll come back once it's finished. And we're back and we can see the report is updated. So we'll click the refresh button. And now we can see the clustered keywords under the similar badge. So why do avocado taste bad? We, we can click on the similar badge and see all the clustered keywords. We can see there's four similar keywords and half of those links are matches. So Keyword Chef will actually tell you how closely related those keywords are. Now, one feature that we have is you can click on report settings and go to similar keywords. And to make organization easier for you, you can hide similar rows. So you don't have a bunch of similar rows. You can group the rows all together and if you wanted tighter clustering, you can change the minimum number of links. So the minimum and default is three links, but if you wanted more tightly grouped clusters, you can change this to maybe five or six. So we'll save the settings here. It will reload the report. And we have our new report here. Um, with the cluster keywords. So this is how you do keyword clustering inside Keyword Chef. Thanks.